Hello, and welcome to Paternity Fraud, the show that brings to the forefront thousands of cases each year in which the man who is paying for a child is not the father. In just about every city and territory on the globe today, there is always some slick lady who is about to fake paternity on her baby's birth certificate that a man who is not the child's father is the baby's daddy. Most assuredly, there can be no other devious, underhanded move to forge a lifelong connection based upon a lie than this one. Targeted by these women are unsuspecting guys who answer the call by stepping up to the plate and becoming the good father in a very bad situation. But why do these women engage in such treachery as to create a life by having fun and then blame some other men for doing so? Now, without a doubt, a percentage will fake paternity to profit financially from the wealth or income of this targeted man. In today's paternity for our case, we give you Mr. Richard Mason, a millionaire and the co-founder of MoneySupermarket.com. Unfortunate for Richard is that he went through his entire 20 years marriage raising Three children that were not his. This is a classic case of false paternity and one which a third of the children born in the world today face. That's right, one third. In other words, Richard's wife had sex with another man, four men behind his back, had the children from that affair, and kept that a secret for 20 years of his long marriage. And they say that men are dirty. It's one thing if you cheat around with somebody else, but it's another thing if you bring home their child, or two, or three. But this case is not merely about paternity betrayal. This case cuts much deeper, brother, because not only did Richard get tricked into raising them for 20 years, there was no biological connection to the boys whatsoever. Couldn't it be? It was impossible. You see, Richard was incapable of having kids because he was sterile since the day he was born due to cystic fibrosis. That's the hard thing about cystic fibrosis. It does that, it makes a man sterile. You might be wondering why. For those of you who are not familiar and are wondering, Richard didn't find out that uh, he had the disease or he was sterile until after the couple got a divorce in 2016. So if it had not been for the divorce, he had not known he got cystic fibrosis. He would not know that the children were not his. You see, most men with cystic fibrosis are infertile because of an absence of the sperm canal known as the congenital bilateral absence of vas deferens. Now, the sperm never make it to the semen and making it impossible for a man to make a woman pregnant by reaching the fertile egg this way. So, even with intercourse, he might have thought that he could make his wife pregnant, but he could not. He would have to know that. And if you are facing this problem out there today, and you do have children, they may not be yours. You see, long after his divorce from his adulterous wife, the 55-year-old father, he now lives with his new wife, Emma Louise, and they live in Rose on the Sea of Wales. Now, it's a good thing that if the first relationship doesn't work, get out. Find somebody else who loves you instead of somebody else who loves your money. And Richard recalls that bombshell announcement from his doctor, which meant it was impossible that he was a biological father, Willem, now 23 years of age, and the twins, Joel and Ed, 19 years of age. So he was able to raise his children his entire life in their youth, and she convinced him that these are your boys. Now, DNA tests then confirmed the devastating news and almost drove Richard to suicide, which is a bad thing. That does happen. But Richard ended up turning a negative into a positive by going public with his story. And this is why we can bring this to you today. Richard put that chick on every news show he can get, every radio, every newspaper. He then turned the corner from depression to empowerment to revenge as he sought to sue his ex-wife for paternity fraud in court. Now I am glad and amazed to tell you that this dad actually won the judgment against his wife for half a million dollars in punitive damages following an extraordinary legal case that has allowed her to keep the identity now of the real father a secret. Because we must respect the real father. He's the one you had the child with behind his back. He deserves respect, not the one that you had to raise the children. Now, 
Lately, Richard has taken his quest for wholeness one step further by offering a million dollar reward to find the real father of these three boys that he raised for 20 years. Now, of course, the boys or his sons that he raised to adulthood don't like their father making these sort of public gestures. They're mad about it. But I ask you, how would they feel if a woman had lied to them this way? How would any guy feel if he raised somebody's children for 20 years? One, two, three of them for 20 years. And then she said, psych, I was just joking. They want your kids the whole time. But guys get this every day across the United States and foreign countries. Now doing the math, Richard now believes that the same man fathered all three boys during an intermittent four-year affair that the man would have had with his wife, Kate, in the late 1990s. So this is 20 years back. See? Now, Kate only confessed to adultery in 2016, 10 years on from the divorce, when Richard confronted her about the children's paternity. And he would have never known, like I said, if he didn't go to the hospital and found out he had a disease and found out that he was sterile since the day he was born. And it is not known if Kate's former lover is aware he has three sons from an on-again, off-again relationship. But I imagine he would. Any man going to the well that many times knows that these children, if not belonging to the father, are his. These are the relationships where the so-called trusting wives place their husbands on the couch just to be able in it, to be in a clean fashion for their lovers when they go on their affairs. Because a woman doesn't want to stink for a lover. She doesn't mind for her husband. These are the broken relationships where affection is starved from the relationship and she has a headache every time sex is mentioned, except when it's for her lover. Tylenol is available to everybody these days. Now I imagine her secret would have gone with her to the grave as she would have decided to. With her as she uh, had not gone for the brass ring and divorce which was half of Richard's wealth. Now this salacious case came to light when Mr. Mason launched a legal bid. Now, he wanted what's called a clawback clause. He wanted to claw back some of the $5 million his wife received in that divorce settlement, as well as suing her for paternity fraud. So she went for the money, but she just came short of the brass ring. Next time, they'll go out to do his money. Now the case drove the family through the court system and their secrets into the streets and public. Now your dirty laundry's out there for everybody to see. As a result, two of the boys Richard raised to adulthood have since broken off contact with him. So they want nothing to do with him. They feel embarrassed. Are you embarrassed more that your mom slept around three times? Or are you embarrassed more that your dad out of your mom sleeping three times? Now the businessman said when he found out that he couldn't be the boy's father, his first thought was, shit, my life is ruined. Because he believed that those children were his. He says, you don't know what's real and what isn't. It's as if I'm living in the matrix, he said. Someone says to you, all that you know and everything you thought to be solid and true is not real and never did exist. You're not a father. You're not able to have kids. And your name will not continue. Now, if that isn't a matrix, nothing is. Everything that you came to believe was real in your life. Especially women who stayed in relationship with you for 20 long years. He says, I still see what the boys are doing on Facebook. And it's heart-wrenching. Because we saw the graduation of the eldest on there. But I wasn't invited. So it's amazing how you can raise a child to adulthood. You can tolerate a wife who never liked you from day one. And yet they still don't want to deal with you after the relationship is over. He goes on to say, I walk past the toy store and it reminds me of buying Christmas presents for them and other family occasions. And when friends post things on Facebook about their own families, like their first uh, grandchild or saying they're proud of their boy for something, I just think, my God, that has all been taken away from me now. And this is a danger when those, these women engage in these relationships. It's doomed from the start. It just has to come out. Now, Robert's lawyer, Roger Terrell, an expert in the field, launched a twin-pronged uh, legal attack not only to have the divorce settlement reviewed in the family court system, but also to seek damages from Mrs. Uh, Mason for paternity fraud. Now, a lot of guys just roll over when they took in the family court, but Richard decided not to, and nor do you have to. So, in the future, 
When a lady wants to take you to court, make sure you take her back to court. Now, we hope to see you again next time, and watch who you sleep with. And get a DNA test. He did. You see, normally it is the husband who brought back to court because he's failed to disclose some income level that he had, some money he may be hiding. But in this case, it was the wife. And it was the paternity of the children what was the issue. Now, all this makes it very unusual. Because even the stateside, they always drag men to the court. You see, Mr. Mason is now remarried. And he says ex-wife tricked him into believing the boys were his. When at the very least, there must have been some doubt in her mind, not his. Not least because she only became pregnant seven years into the marriage. So you couldn't get pregnant before as much as they tried, but all of a sudden you can. After the divorce, she constantly hounded me, he said, for more maintenance money, even though he always complied with the child support order. So they will always chase you down for money, even though they thought that they can get along without you. For the Men's Channel, this is Charles Rippers. Thank you for joining us.